All right, let's get some overclocking in for Frank. We're in the BIOS right now. It's set to five gigahertz with the uh, ring ratio. It's the cache basically at 48. Let's put this to 5.2 and let's move that to just 49. Let's increase the voltage. All right, 1.33. Let's just go all the way to 1.37 and see what the temps are like that. And I already turned off everything else that you need to turn off, like multi-core enhancement and speed step and all that stuff. So make sure that you do that as well. Make sure you save your profile. This one is 5.2 gigahertz, which I don't have one for. So let's make one. 5.2. Save and exit. Let's see here, we booted all core 5.2 gigahertz, 5.2, idle temps, and reboot. So Cinebench R20 failed right away. Going to up the voltage to 1.4 and see how that goes. Save profile again, and reboot. Running at 1.4 volts, all core 5.2 gigahertz. Maximum temp so far, 71. We'll see how this goes though. I increased it to 1.41 volts because 1.4 failed and we are currently running. Max temp is right now 73 degrees Celsius. We just passed the run, the score was 4036. Oh, and it failed. Well, passed one run, that's progress. Upping the voltage to 1.43 volts, we found a stable bench and a score of 4,012 for the 8700K. All core overclock of 5.2 gigahertz, not too bad. Max temps were 80 degrees for the CPU. Different cores hit low 90s, upper 80s, and not too bad overall. And the VRM is chilling, probably because the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 has that nice little fan on there, so that's helping too. So for an AIO to hit 5.2 gigahertz on a delitted 8700K with an aftermarket copper IHS. Yes, yeah, so that's a mouthful. That's impressive for an AIO.